exception in the law for current or former U.S. officials who request anonymity? To, to release classified information? Yes, sir. No. Is there an exception in the law for reporters who want to break a story? Well, that's a harder question as to whether a reporter incurs criminal liability by publishing classified information and one probably beyond my ken. I'm not as good a lawyer as Mr. Schiff uh, said I used to be. Well, I don't know about that, but the statute does use the word publish, doesn't it? It does, but that's a question I know the Department of Justice has struggled with through administration after administration. I know the department struggled with it, the Fourth Circuit struggled with it, lots of people have struggled with it, but you're not aware of an exception in the current dissemination of classified information statute that carves out an exception for reporters. No, I'm not aware of anything carved out in the statute. I don't think a reporter's been prosecuted, certainly in my lifetime, though. Well, there have been a lot of statutes at bar in this investigation for which no one's ever been prosecuted or convicted, and that does not keep people from discussing those statutes, namely the Logan Act. In theory, how would reporters know a U.S. citizen made a telephone call to an agent of foreign power? How would they know? Legally? Yes. If it was declassified and then discussed in a judicial proceeding or a congressional hearing, something like that. And assume none of those facts are at play, how would they know? Someone told them who shouldn't have told them. How would a reporter know about the existence of intercepted phone calls? The same thing, in a, in a legitimate way, through an appropriate proceeding where there's been declassification, in any other way, in an illegitimate way. Um, how would reporters know if a transcript existed of an intercepted communication? Same answer. It, it, the only legitimate way would be through a proceeding, appropriate proceeding. The illegitimate way would be somebody told them who shouldn't have told them. What does the term mask mean in the concept of FISA and other surveillance programs? As Director Rogers explained, it's our practice, approved by the FISA court, of removing the names of U.S. persons to protect their privacy and their identity unless it hits certain exceptions. So masking means, as Mike Rogers said, I'll often see an intelligence report from NSA that will say U.S. person number one, U.S. person number two, U.S. person number three, and uh, there's no further identification on the document. Admiral Rogers said there are 20 people within the NSA that are part of the unmasking process. How many people within the FBI are part of the unmasking process? I don't know for sure as I sit here. Surely more, given the nature of the FBI's work, we come into contact with U.S. persons a whole lot more than the NSA does because we may be conducting, we only conduct our operations in the United States to collect electronic sur uh, surveillance, to conduct electronic surveillance. So I, I, don't, I can find out the exact number. I don't know it as I sit here.